Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, this one comes by way of Golden Designs. So, I'm going to unbox it with my Vampire Jack, because that's what I'm carrying. But yeah, this comes from uh, Blaze over at Golden Designs, and this is a Golden Design Standard. So, we have another standard in the house. You guys all know I love the RR Standard from Knife Standards. Um, and I totally get why they both named it that, right? Knife Standards is his channel. RR, initials for his dad, Standard, RR Standard. Golden Standard, as in the Golden Standard. So, anyway, makes sense, and I'm sure they didn't know each other anyway. Um, Vampire Jack carrying this just to rotate some other Jack Wolves in, in between drops, because I have the newest one on the way, the low drag that looks sick, um, but... I like to carry other ones when I can. I had the cyborg in pocket this weekend, and I wanted to rock the, the vampire because I really love the vampire. So let me open this. I'm doing it off camera just because I uh, I have, uh, what's it called, the address on here. And I'm not all fancy like some of y'all and taping shit up. I just don't care. You're not here for production quality. We all know this. Um, by the way, check out my Tinker Force uh disassembly tray this is a larger one these should be dropping this month i think um the one that i've always had is the large one this is i think the xl and um they're you know it's like 20 30 bucks for these trays best disassembly tray in my opinion i love it um so this actually came by way of stasa 23 so shout out to nick um he dropped in a stasa patch that's awesome dude thank you nick much appreciated brother um i should have a uh pouch or something i can slap this on soon so that's really cool thank you dude and oh and shout out to nick man he hit 40k uh fantastic dude he has worked his ass off for years uh with his channel and 100 percent deserves that 40k um as much as anyone so big shout out to nick love you dude um this is the golden standard so i've been really excited for this knife nice little pouch i don't know what it'll come in let me just uh i usually like to grab a piece of paper and i'll just write golden standard and then I just do this, cha-ching, put that in here, and now I know what goes in here. And then I can put it in my case. All right, so I've been very excited for this knife ever since I first saw it, which I will admit I did not know about this knife uh, at first. Um, somebody had to point it out to me, and that's the way it goes, guys. There's so many knives out there, so many designers these days, and, you know, it's just how it goes. Um, but I'm glad that it did get pointed out to me. Um, and it, it just looks cool to me. It's my style of knife, right? It has nice lines. Um, checking the detent. I love that it's a liner lock, um, titanium liner lock with steel insert right up my alley. Being left-handed means you can flick and do stuff, right? Now, uh, the one downside to where I was on the list for this, because I got in late, is that the pre-order actually ended today um, for me. Today is Monday, January 2nd, so it kind of sucks, um, but I really wanted to handle it first um, before ordering, and I wanted to get a video out for you guys before. It was supposed to be here Friday, never showed up, so... It is what it is, so now it's going to release later this week or next week or something because there's no rush. Um, so let's take a look at this bad boy. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing, the first thing that stands out to me, ironically, because it really shouldn't, is the tip seems like it's almost sticking out. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. It's like right on the cusp of sticking out of that handle. And I'm just like, is that going to get me? Oh, eh, I can kind of get it if I, I'm like really trying. I don't think you would ever stick your hand in your pocket and like, yeah, I doubt it. Um, but I don't know why that stuck out to me and I'm sure, um, yeah, anyway, 
I love the ripple pattern. I believe that's what this is called. He has the dimple and the ripple. And then he has the smoke, this gray, and then a blue called sky color. And then he has um, a pimped out gold dark matter one that came in either Damasteel or M390. The prototype here is in Magna Cut, but um, Best Tech, who is OEMing this, ran out of Magna Cut. They can't get it anymore. CPM doesn't sell it overseas, I believe. So it's going to be an M390 in production. I initially thought this was G10, but I'm told it's titanium. Um, and it is. It, it feels like titanium. It's hard. It's, you know. But it does kind of have a look like it's G10, especially the blue one. But not that that matters. I'm just saying I thought it was G10. It is not. The price point on these was really good. Um, I believe he had these at $269 or something, which is really good. I know Best Tech's pricing, and uh, he is not... Um, He's not taking a, a very big margin. He's just trying to get this project off the ground, which props to him. Um, and he's probably doing most of it direct and not through dealers, so it's fine, you know. Um, he should be okay margin-wise. But just saying, knowing Best Tech's pricing this is a really, really good price. So if you got one, you should be glad. Now, another thing that stands out to me about the tip of the knife is that he has this notch right here, which is going to just really catch your eye and make sure centering's dead on and unfortunately this one is slightly off to this side here and that is the rub that is the downside to having that little notch we actually had that on our stout design and we removed it because it was like Ooh, unless you have riot make the knife i really just don't trust it now this is a prototype so i'm sure it'll be fine in production and i could probably tweak it if i took it apart did it with a blah 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 you could probably get that centered and it's damn close i'm just saying it's something all right um the clip is really nice uh it just reminds me so much of the uh, f5.5 clip oh sorry i need to grab the stock one here it reminds me of this clip like almost like if you took this clip and just like if you were in uh like you know paint or something you just grabbed it and dragged it out so it was that long like it almost just looks like the same clip just dragged out um i love this clip so that's perfectly fine with me. I'm glad about that. Now, I would say it does have a little bill up. So that could be a hot spot. I'm left-handed, so it doesn't matter really. Well, we'll see. I'm sure it's fine. You have this little slot back here. I believe that's just uh, for aesthetics. It's not meant to be a lanyard hole or anything. I don't know if you could use it as one, really, because it's all the way down to the backspacer. I don't know how you would. Yeah, You'd have to use this, I guess, as a lanyard spot. Um, so I guess you guys might want to know how it flicks. So let's see, left-handed, see if I can get in there. Okay, fires out. Um, and then ergonomically, we have a full handle here. So it's a, probably a three and a quarter inch knife. Let me grab a stout. 3.3 .3 on the stout. Yep. So uh, I'm guessing the spec on this is three and a quarter, 3.3. .3. And then you have 7.6 overall, 7.7 .7 overall, something like that. Um, very nice profile overall. I think it's a beautiful looking knife. It gives me vibes of uh, the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. Um, just, I don't know why. It, I'm not saying it looks like one. Uh, I'm just saying it has those vibes the way the... The, when it's closed, I don't know. It just gives me that vibe. Um, but it's a very unique. Um, so don't take it that way, please. Um, you have a stonewashed uh, bevel here. And then you have a, um, or whatever you want to call this, primary grind, I guess. Um, and then this is a horizontal or hand satin, looks like, on the top here. Horizontal satin. Looks very nice. Uh, I do prefer a full belt satin, but this looks good. Uh, the hole shape is really cool. I like how it kind of swoops in and kind of meets the handle here. Really makes this portion right here make sense. Because um, I thought maybe, you know, it'd be like a flipper tab here or something. But it makes sense when you flick it open that it lines up like that. You do have a full choil, 50-50 choil. You guys know that's my preference. Oh, yeah, that melts in the hand. I think I've heard a couple of people say that, um, they could have done with just having a full blade and no choil because this is very comfortable back here. 
But I am a Choil guy through and through, and this just feels fantastic in my hand. So I'm 100% on board with this. Uh, a little bit of jimping right here would have been cool, but um, I don't do jimping a lot on our knives, so I get it, and it's fine. Um, you know, detent's good for sure. Flicks out well. Yeah, this is really nice. Fits the hand really well. Best Tech did a good job here. Action's uh, pretty good. Again, the centering. Let's see. It's rock solid. No up and down at all. Um, I have seen the changes. So one of them was like... Yeah, I think the one Jared had, he was able to fail um, if he spine whacked it. And he adjusted the uh, the lock bar, the angle, either on the lock bar or the blade, probably the blade. Um, so that's the, being taken care of. He also has adjusted the lock bar access. This was my biggest concern with the knife. So I did watch videos on this because I didn't know I was getting one right away. Um, so I did watch videos on this. And my biggest concern with the design is the lock bar access because... I'm one of those people who likes to do this. I like to have it come down on my nail like that. And not having a cutback here makes that difficult. Um, so he has it set up like this where you have the dual chamfer inside, right? Which is perfectly fine. Um, he ended up thickening this side and this side up so it'll be less sharp, he said. Because, yeah, I can see how maybe you would say it was sharp. But... I'm pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to disengage. So I don't think it would actually be a problem for me. So that's a question answered. Yeah, it just feels pretty comfortable. And if it's even going to be more comfortable, I do feel that sharpness that we're talking about. But I don't notice it as like a downside to where I can't get in here. I wonder if that sharpness is why I'm able to do this easily. But we'll see. Uh, but that answers my question and, and makes me want to order one. So we'll see if I'm able to pull that off since the pre-order is technically over. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to disengage left-handed as well. You just get in here like this. Um, it's one of those knives where I think people need to understand you're not supposed to disengage it up here. <laughs> you can, but like you see where the cutouts are, that's where you disengage it. So when you go to close it like this, you just do it right there. And it swings down. Pretty soft on your nail because it comes down at a straight instead of hitting you with that corner, you know. Um, yeah, I dig it. Front flipper. Another adjustment he made on this is this swedge right here. You can see there's this swedge that goes... Start, there you go. It's a good angle on it. You see how it's fatter here and then it swedges right here and then comes all the way down. It's very thin right here. He extended this... I guess you should say he shortened the swedge to start like here so that all of this is still full meat so it'll be easier to flip. Although, honestly, I have no problem flipping this. This is wonderful to flip. Um, let's talk about the reverse flick. So left-handed, I can get in there. I will say I I think I'd prefer if it had a, a like a 45-degree angle on the hole right here. Because it would catch your finger better. Um, I have slipped out a couple times like this, right? Um, and it would catch better. I'm sure I would just get used to it. But it would catch better if you had that 45 degree angle. What I mean by that is, let me see. Let me see. You can kind of see it here. You see that, that little step right there from the top? to the hole, there's that little bit of a 45. Just catches your finger. So even when I feel like I'm slipping out, that catches my finger and whips the blade out for me. Where this, I guess it has it a little bit, but it's just not very, I guess it's just not aggressive. I don't know. Or it's almost like there's a dual step let me pull out a stout, because I know the stout has something like that, too. You see that angle right there? Yeah, I guess it does have that, but it's not pronounced. I don't... Let me zoom back out. I don't know. It's just not catching my finger the way it normally does. Maybe 
You know what it is? I think it's just the access. So look at this. On the right side, you have, it's cut back. That's what it is. On this side, it's not cut back. So for a lefty, you have less room to get in there. So that would just be an adjustment kind of thing. Now that I have my finger in there, yeah, see, it's fine. So it's just an adjustment. But yeah, it's easier right-handed for sure. If your finger falls right in. I would assume this was made to, to reverse flick, not thumb flick, because you have less access here. Now, left-handed, you're going to have more access to the thumb because of that cut, but it's still not like a lot of, you know, a lot of access, but easy to slow roll. Yeah. Um, the blade also, when I was talking earlier, I said it gives me Oz vibes. It also has sort of Bridgeport 395 vibes on the blade. They're completely different, but just... A little bit of that aesthetic, the way the, the grinds work and the swedging. Um, the flat, sorry. Um, both of those are compliments, by the way. And again, extremely unique knife. Not playing the looks like this game. Just giving you little details that remind me of things. Like the clip, you know, things like that. People need to chill with the looks like this. I hate that stuff, personally. Um, but it's also innate that our brains work that way right that we're like oh yeah it kind of reminds me of this or that and my brain works the same way so i do like to point those things out i just want to make it clear when i do point them out i'm not saying it's a copy of something or whatever right i'm just kind of taking a look now i know i'm rambling i really like the ripple i didn't think i would love the ripple i thought i'd like the dimple better but i don't know maybe i would like a ripple I did see his post where he said the dimple sold way better, um, which is interesting because both are cool. But uh, let's take a look at the lock bar. So this is Best Tech, and they did a steel insert on a titanium liner, just like uh, the Buzz from Devo or the Axon from Vero. As you can see there, it's mounted with two screws, probably T6. I don't know. It could be T8. I don't know. I thought I asked them to do TA, but they can't, so I doubt it. Oops. Um, but, yeah, this is a great knife. I I'm very excited about it, and now I want one, so that's good news. Can I do the rollback? Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it once. I can kind of do it. Yeah. All right, so that is the golden standard. I love that. Golden design standard, and I think the hype is real. Um, I, yeah, I do wish there was a different setup for lock bar access. I wish it was a cut back here a little bit, and then you could just go in like this. But it actually works really well. I got to say, this is one of the only knives where I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't even really matter. Um, and then um, the other problem with cutting it back like that on a handle this thin is you know you might be able to like disengage it if you squeeze too hard or whatever especially with a liner lock so that could have been a concern there but uh the edge stasa just had this so it could be dull <laughs> uh let me check i'm sure he strops it after Let's see how it feels cutting because it feels really good yeah it feels solid yeah it's definitely not very sharp but I'm guessing that's mostly because of Stasa's testing and whatnot. I'm sure it would cut normal stuff, like cardboard, fine, though. There we go. So, uh, I'm sure the factory edge was very good. It's still catching my skin a little bit, so... It's relatively thin behind the edge. Um, we can measure that, if you like. Then I'll get y'all out of here. This is kind of a review and a unboxing at the same time. So, because I've seen the videos on this, I just, because I didn't know I was getting one. And I don't really care. 20,000. I don't really care about seeing other videos beforehand. It, just, it honestly helps me a little bit. 18, 20. Yeah, so 20 thousandths, 18, 20 thousandths. I think that's really good. It's an EDC knife. Um, I see no issue with that. And, uh, 
Yeah. Let me just check the air goes right-handed with that clip. Yeah, no. That's weird. Because everybody bitches about it on the uh, F5.5. Like, literally everybody bitches about this clip. And it's almost the same. I guess it doesn't come up as high. Um, and maybe the ergo is just, I don't know. But I don't even feel it. Don't even feel it. It's weird. It's very rounded off, though. And I'm sure the clip works great. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great clip. I love a clip like this. Um, the Dawn has a similar type clip. Um... Some other stuff, really like a clip like that. Mounted right at the end, basically loop over, but mill, titanium, very nice. Yeah, this is a great knife. Uh, I think we all kind of knew that by now, but I'm glad to confirm it. So hopefully you got one. If you didn't, I'm sure there'll be more when they come in. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you watching. Oh, one other detail I noticed is uh, there's like a uh, concave or whatever on the pivot really cool to have that it's a detail i've seen on stuff like knoll knives does like little uh dimples and stuff it's a very nice detail it's a good index point and just looks cool too so that is the golden standard thank you to blaze for letting me uh check this out i'll see if i end up doing another video on it but i've kind of covered the gamut here um you know and i'm not gonna like use and abuse anything really but not a prototype from somebody so um yeah i can recommend this one i was a little worried about that lock bar access but you know it actually works really well and if it's only going to get better then you know not much to complain about there so let me know what you guys think down below did you get one were you interested in getting one etc i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you Later.